Hey, what's up everybody, it's Priyon Joni. So recently the DDJ Rev7 came out and one of the design differences to traditional DJ controllers that people realize with the Rev7 is it doesn't have a Q button. The workflow of the Rev7 is similar to turntables where there is no Q button. And one of the questions people started to ask was, well, if I don't have any hotkey set up, say I have a fresh track, how do I scrub back to the beginning? And what they mean is, how do I do it without touching the laptop? Well, say we have the track somewhere in the middle, you can actually hold the shift button and then turn the wheel and it will hyper scrub in any direction through the track. So now we're back at the beginning. So we have a track playing. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, hold shift. Now I'm back. And that's an easy way to actually scrub through the track with more speed rather than doing it manually, winding it forward or backward without hyper scrub. Now I'm pretty sure that's not the official term for it, but for this video, we'll call it hyper scrub because it sounds pretty Star Wars. Now, say you're used to a traditional controller or CDJs or all-in-one systems with a Q button and you like to use it to tap and count down before you press play. Is there a solution for you? Well, there is. We can actually put a Q button right on the Rev7. And I'll show you how, but first, let's grab some music from Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database where DJs can get their music from. There's thousands of unique edits, remixes, and originals that you can choose from of your favorite tracks that you can use to rock your next dance floor. They also have an app that you can use on your mobile device where you can browse their database and then save songs so that it appears on your Dropbox when you get home. I'm gonna leave you two discount links down below in the pinned comment if you want to subscribe. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. So how did I do that? It's actually really, really easy. And it was actually a suggestion from a friend of mine, Professor BX. What we did is we MIDI mapped the temporary Q function in Serato, which is the orange Q button on hardware. And we mapped it to the shift start stop. You see start stop is basically two functions. It's to play in Serato and to turn on the motor. Now, shift start stop is a totally unrelated function to hardware other than being a button. And it's basically open because nothing natively is mapped to it. And what we did is we just mapped temp cue to it and that is our cue button. Now let's show you how easy this is. So we're gonna go into Serato's settings. We're gonna go over to MIDI. In MIDI devices, we're gonna select the DDJ Rev7. Make sure this is checkmarked, allow Serato hardware remapping. And down here, if you have any other mappings or presets, make sure to save them and start a new one. For mine, it's clear, so we're just gonna leave that alone. And now we're gonna go into MIDI. And if you notice, here on deck one, there's a function here called temp queue. I already have it mapped, but we're gonna show you how to do it. On deck two, there's temp queue. So to do this, you basically just click the function and then you click shift and press start stop while holding shift. Now it's mapped for deck one. Now for deck two, we click it, shift, click start stop, and now it's mapped on deck two. So let's close this up and let's test this out. That one works. And this side, You gotta be careful with this because see what happens if you don't let go of shift before you click start stop. It doesn't start rotating and you're actually in temporary queue. And you can't hold temporary queue and press play because it's on the same button. There is a solution if you find yourself in this, which is to just click play with the mouse on Serato. And it's like holding the queue button and pressing play. Now there's other buttons you can map it to. You don't necessarily have to use shift, start, stop. So feel free to experiment. Maybe you wanna use the silent cue buttons instead. So hope this video was helpful. And if it was, be sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see more tips and tricks like this, 
click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. Don't forget product links are down in the description and pinned comment below. Want to see some compatible power supplies with the Rev7? Follow this video over here. And if you want to see how we build lightsabers at Galaxy's Edge at Batu, check out this video right here. Really appreciate you for watching and may you find the knowledge you seek and the force be with you always.